If you watched the medical drama series The Resident, you might already know the new character that was introduced towards the season 5's finale. But what's Kincaid's character all about? Surely the few episodes she's appeared in haven't answered all the questions, but this video will. So keep watching for all about who Kincaid Sullivan is, as well as other The Resident updates. When was it first made clear that a new character was joining The Resident team? Back in October, website TV Line revealed that a new member would be joining The Resident family. The Fox series is no stranger to completely out-of-the-blue twists and turns, so fans weren't that surprised when the show went ahead with its decision to introduce a character in the fall finale. TV Line was also informed by the resident co-showrunner Peter Elkoff how King Cade wouldn't just be some new filler character with little to no contribution to the storyline. Instead, her presence would be crucial to the second half of the season. Elkoff described Sullivan's character as being a very tough woman, who definitely errs on the side of of mystery. She's very well guarded about her past and doesn't really let on any emotions or vulnerability. When the announcement first came out, the season's fall finale was yet to come. Cade made her first appearance in the 10th episode of the 5th season, after which the show went on a brief hiatus that's still ongoing. We expect a new episode to come out next year, but in the meantime, let's go over the events of that fall finale and, of course, Cade's role within. What happened in the 10th episode of The Resident's 5th season? Titled Unknown origin, the 10th episode of the current season ended on quite the cliffhanger. Let's recap the major events. During the episode, Dr. Bell undergoes medical tests to confirm the cause behind her hand tremors and blurry vision. And even though normal vital signs initially relieve both Conrad and Dr. Bell, she's quick to point out that the findings that would follow could very well indicate some serious ailments, including cancer and stroke. By the end of the episode, Conrad is fully aware of what's ailing the veteran doctor, and he's about to break the news to her. Except, the episode comes to an end at that very moment. So, what we're left with was really the biggest cliffhanger of all time. What could it be that Dr. Bell is suffering from? Could it be serious? Or did they just create all that suspense for her to be perfectly okay within a couple more episodes? All of those questions will unfortunately remain until that new episode comes through next year. The show's executive producer, Andrew Chapman, shared with TV Line how this was essential to the storyline that Bell was caught in the middle of health issues. He said, We wanted to have that be a foreshadowing of what's going to happen with Bell, because we knew this hump was coming for a long time. We've been planning it. That's going to be a central storyline for Bell. How do you deal with your own diagnosis, your own illness, and your own ability to be a surgeon and of a certain age? Then what do you do? It's a great question, and we're going to dive into it head first. Other than this, the former Gotham actress Kaylee Ronane also joined in playing the tough and mysterious Kincaid Sullivan. She's the double board certified practitioner who assists Chastain in the emergency room. Soon as she joins the team at the hospital, she's met with a particularly concerning case. But even when she was offered a position as the ER doctor, as Devin's replacement, Kate wasn't the most open about her former stints at other hospitals. Attempts to trace her identity online were also made, but to no avail. What's expected from the upcoming episode of the fifth season? As Peter Elkoff described it, Kate's character will hold a lot of significance in the episodes to come, ever since The Resident went on a seasonal hiatus. Apparently, Cade's enigmatic nature and history will be a focal point for the remaining half of the season, and it's possible that this arc would begin from the 11th episode onwards. But other than that, we'll learn about Belle's diagnosis once and for all. That's something that's been messing with everyone's head. The way it was kept from the fans by a sudden ending to the 10th episode could even be described as infuriating. So when it's finally revealed in the 11th episode, it will be nothing short of cathartic. We just hope Dr. Bell is not suffering from anything serious or life-threatening. As for when the new episode will be released, it's expected to be released on the 1st of February 2022. Also, it's being said that the current hiatus won't be the only one we'll be put through within this season. This is because, like the Resident's longest season so far, the second season, the fifth season will also contain a total of 23 episodes. So even if we have to go through similar The Resident Devoid periods again, at least we'll get a huge number of episodes this season. And why did The Resident go into hiatus in the first place? You might not know this, but it's actually commonplace for TV networks to schedule short hiatuses for their shows. The reason why this is done is because it ensures that the episodes are spaced out, and the entirety of a season is released over a scheduled period of time. This is definitely not the first time a show has gone on hiatus, and it certainly won't be the last one. But the good news is that there's an air of suspense that can be upheld throughout such 
challenge hiatuses. What we mean is, aren't you just dying to see the next episode of The Resident? So do TV networks. Such breaks also ensure a restored level of interest and hype around shows and series. Could Conrad and Billy be connected romantically in the upcoming episode? Send a show on a break and the fans make up for the lack of it in their lives by making up some theories. The same is happening with the residents Conrad and Billy, who are being suspected of some serious romance in the remaining chunk of the show's fifth season. After the unexpected time jump following Nick's death this season, Conrad no longer has a love interest. One of the prospects, and someone that Conrad has continued to grow closer to, is Billy. Fans are suspecting that things will end up taking a sweet turn and the two will get romantically involved as the season goes on. After losing the love of his life, Conrad took some time getting ready to step into the dating space once again, but it now seems that he's fully ready to try his luck. Toward the end of the November 30th episode, Billy is actually seen urging Conrad to ask Marion out, even when it seems that it's her who's falling for him slowly. When the three walk off to buy ice cream, Billy is clearly jealous, despite setting the whole thing up herself. However, even when a lot of things are pointing towards it, it's still not set in stone that Conrad and Billy will end up dating. This is because there are several love interests in the picture right now, including Marion and even Dr. Sullivan. Pretty much anything could happen, and Andrew Chapman confirmed this as well. He said that there's space for suspense when it comes to this teensy aspect about the show as well. But if it's Billy and Conrad who end up together, it'll be super sweet, according to the fans at least. Why should the residents stick with Conrad's big choice in the fifth season? Following Nick's death and that huge time jump nobody saw coming, Conrad had a big decision to make, and that was whether he would be returning to Chastain. Lucky for everyone, he did eventually come back. It was Conrad's daughter Gigi who helped her dad make the big decision to return to work after having processed his grief. The reason why he was adamant on not returning, despite missing his work as Chastain, was because he wanted to stay by his daughter. But after Gigi spends a day at the daycare, she realizes that there's actually no harm in letting her dad return. The hospital was more than glad to have one of their best men back. Gigi is old enough to spend her time at the Chastain daycare as well, so it all works out for Conrad finally. Conrad's decision was pretty much crucial to the show. What would the resident be without the entire family at Chastain? So, him returning was kind of necessary. It's just being hoped that Conrad would stay as well. The fans find that the resident should stick with the decision of making him return to the hospital where he feels he belongs the most. It's likely that he'll be staying too, because the story, as it has continued from this season's seventh episode, surrounds events happening at Chastain. So, Conrad's presence there for the remainder of the season seems obvious. That was it for today's video. What are your predictions for the 11th episode of season 5 of The Resident? Let us know in the comments down below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.